Hi, let's finish the exercises that we were working in Oracle. Um, like I said, here on these SQL queries that we just finished, we were trying to match the queries that we were doing in algebra and actually see the implementation on a real database. Fortunately, question number five didn't have a perfect match. Like for example, we didn't actually have a way of knowing which courses are offered by the computer science department or was the number. So this was my implementation. So you can just go and practice and do that testing, okay? So when we are actually in the SQL practice, we will be sure that, that, that we have that. I mean, but here we were matching some queries in here. So just to, to compare our experience from solving algebra and <coughs> doing that in um, SQL. Now let's go into the very last question. The very last question talks about PLSQL. We will, um, in about a week, we will work with PLSQL. So PLSQL will be a kind of an extension of a programming language. Because remember that uh, the SQL is by itself not a programming language. It's, it's just a way of getting, uh, retrieving data. Or, I mean, remember that has three components, the D, the L, to to define tables, to define constraints, the data definition language, the DML, the data manipulation language, where we do the, the we solve the queries, and the DCL, where we do some something about the control. But it's nothing about like doing a for loop or a if statement. So because it's not a programming language, then Oracle has a way of connecting SQL with some type of a, a programming language that they call PLSQL. And um, so these will have three sections that are illustrated here, the declaration, the execution, and the section. And we will just practice with this small exercise just to, to get a very short taste of what it is. So this is the section that is the declaration, in which we have the identifiers of the variable. And then the execution section uh, begins with begin and ends with the end. So from here to here is my execution. This is my declaration. And then there is no exception in this example. So now statements in PLSQL ends with the slash. And then I'm adding a here and a statement that I will put in my script. So actually the PLSQL is from here to here. This is a SQL plus statement that I'm gonna have for just to in case that I have an error, so show the errors. So this is very simple. We are defining two variables. Those are the types. Then these are some assignments. Look, the assignment has x colon equal, y colon equal. And then we have an if statement where we compare. Then we can see the answer from there. And this is a way that we do a print statement. And then we got two possible print statements. So there is nothing amazing about the print statement. So on this statement, we have displaying a string, and then these two pipes is the concatenation. So we're printing this and concatenating with the value of x. Then um, what I said is, well, let's create a script. So now we have practice of doing a script. Again, we can just do copy and paste it, but then we want to do a script. So I will be sure first that I'm connected to the lab, and then I will show that. So once we are here in the in Sage, Let's do our editor pico, and then let's call this pl underscore example dot sql to create my script. And then I will paste it. So then I have that there. And then we do control x, we hit yes as the name. Then we connect to Oracle. And then here to execute this statement, we can do start script, and then the name of the script, which I call, I forgot the name already, I think I call it PL SQL example, right? Yeah, PL SQL. So we can do PL underscore example. Or, well, let's, let's do it like this PL SQL underscore example. So it has been executed. However, we didn't see anything because we did not have what they call the server output on. So we need to do set server output on. 
this is the one that um, um, is, is a package in which uh, has the way of being implemented the DBMS output. So let's do this. Uh, instead of doing start again, the, the, uh, we got two ways of executing the script. We can type start in the name of the script like I did before, or we can use this symbol in the name of the script, the script which is PL example. So then I have the answer there. You see that it says y greater or equal than x and then phi. Okay, so I got disconnected in perfect timing. So that will be the end of the exercises. So thank you.